you know what the largest yellowtail ever caught in California weighed? Was it 80 pounds, 40 pounds, or 120 pounds? That's right, it was 80 pounds. Another fish going. Last couple of fish I got either sawed off or fish bit through the line. So now I've moved up to 50 pound test line. A little bit bigger reel, a little bit heavier rod so I can pull on it, force it a little bit more. Hopefully it's a nice and great fish. Work my way up this way. We got five more fish going in the back of the boat. I'm just trying to stay away from those. So every time the fish picks his head up, he's going to take a crank or two. Just want to bring him up, convince him he's going to die, and it makes it a little easier. Just get a nice crank or two on him. You see him? Deep color. So I have my fish going in circles. If I had a two-speed reel, I guess you could press a button now, but this fish is manageable right now. Straight up and down, deep color. Where are you? No, I didn't. There we go. There's my tuna, and just got that fly lining. And you see my hook right there. Got lucky, got right in the corner of the jaw. I've lost a couple because the tuna have teeth, and they swallowed my hooks and they cut through the line. But we got this one. Nice gaff, man. My fish is running all over the place. Just want to keep my rod tip up, and every time I can, take a little crank. We see deep color on mine. Here comes my fish. Here he comes. I'm gonna try to keep him here. Come back under. There we go. Just a couple cranks away. Try to lay him flat here. He didn't like that. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Nice, Jesse. Beautiful bluefin tuna. And you can see where it's gaffed right in the head. It's still hot. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish. Well, for this week's tip of the week, two things. One, always use a lively bait and check your line all the time. Today we got a lot of yellowtail. 
and I lost a couple of fish because I didn't change my knot. I had some frayed line, threw it out, and I got bit by tuna. This one I tied on a fresh hook, paid off. That's this week's tip of the week. Make sure your line's nice and, and set good. I want to thank the whole crew of the Eclipse, Mark, all the guys, Steve, Josh, everybody. Everybody did a great job. We had a great time fishing for the Eclipse. We always do. We had a great time. Just lots of bluefin tuna, yellowtail, couple of Dorado. It was an awesome day on the water. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing. Thanks, sir. Good job. Woo!